If you guys want to get some amazing controller grips and accessories, then check out fatalgrips.com and use the code Kyle underscore Burke for 10% off. What's going on guys, Kyle Burke here and welcome to another Minecraft video. Now today I'm going to be talking about the brand new 1.83 update or title update 83 or 82 I think you call it. I'm not sure what you call it, but uh, for now let's just call it 1.83. Anyway, yeah, today I'm going to be talking about this update because obviously a lot of people are actually asking when the update would be coming to PS4 and uh, today is the day that it actually came out and uh, today I'm going to be talking about all of the features and stuff that's in it. So leave a like and subscribe. But let's get straight into it. Alright, so added the Nightmare Before Christmas mashup pack. I'll show you this near the end of the video because um, obviously I have to go outside of the world to show you. Um, added the holiday update, added six new trophies to acquire. Now I can't show you them right now, um, but if you go on the trophies section of your PS4, you will actually see the brand new trophies that you can get. If you think about it, trophies are actually there um, to help you, like, you know, go towards like a specific project you're doing. So say for example, if you was to mine like 100 blocks in Minecraft or something like that, and you got an achievement for it, that's there to basically prove that you have done that and you've accomplished something in the game. So I think it's pretty cool in my opinion. I really like that. And uh, yeah, so they've added six new trophies, so you can check those out now on the trophies section of your PS4. Not only that, but they've added cats, a newish mob that spawns in villages and can be tamed with tasty fish. Cats scare off phantoms, so if you don't like to sleep much, they are the perfect pet. Uh, if we go on this menu right here, actually it's not that one, it's, it's this one. Uh, spawn cat, so as you can see, we have cats right now, found strays in villages and with witch hunts, can be tamed using raw salmon or cod. So, as you can see, we have new cats in Minecraft. Now, obviously, before, um, the only way you could get cats was if you was to tame ocelots, um, and obviously, obviously ocelots look like this right now, um, but the only way you can get cats now is if you basically spawn them, um, and it's pretty cool in my opinion. Uh, because you know you don't you don't need also lots to tame cats anymore so they've changed that and added that as a, as a brand new feature next up is pandas so added pandas cuddly bears that love to eat bamboo and have surprisingly complex genetics so if we go over here um, and find the pandas again, there you go, uh, oh the polar bear, uh, pandas, there we go. If we spawn them here, as you can see we have a panda right here. A jungle animal that can have six different personalities and really loves bamboo. So if you don't know, um, if I, I, I don't know where it is actually, oh there it is. Um, if you don't know, pandas actually really love bamboo. Uh, as you can see if we give bamboo to the panda right now, it will actually eat it. It will sit like that and eat it at the same time. It's not eating it right now though so oh wait what oh okay so i can't actually spawn any more pandas but yeah as you can see the panda is eating bamboo right now and uh yeah it can just sit there and eat his bamboo and uh you know if you have bamboo in your world as well like on survival or anything and you have pandas uh then those pandas will really love that place where the bamboo is because pandas just love bamboo so there you go lazy pandas like to lie about just eating bamboo all day um, so yeah, you have normal pandas and then you have like more pandas as well. Um, so like you have like different breeds and stuff. Weak pandas sneeze gross slime and have less health than other pandas. Not only that, but they've also added lazy pandas. Um, I'm not really sure how you get them, uh, but if you look closely, if we actually keep spawning pandas, um, you can you can kind of see that some of the eyes are different. Because like I said, I don't know how you get them. Um, lazy pandas like to lie about just eating bamboo all day. Weak pandas sneeze gross slime and have less health than other pandas. Worried pandas are scared of thunderstorms and other mobs. Aggressive pandas hit harder and fight for their friends. And playful panda, uh, pandas enjoy rolling around and having fun. So, yeah, there's a lot of pandas in this update. Like I said, um, obviously you can spawn them like this. I'm not really sure how you get them. I think you just keep spawning them and seeing what other type of panda you get. I'm not really sure. Or that, or you just let them mate or whatever and they make another type of panda. I am not sure. But it's something like that anyway, and as you can see, the uh, panda is sitting there like that, as they do, and if you give them the bamboo, there you go, they actually eat the bamboo. So if we just uh, give them all bamboo right there, they can have like a bamboo party. Uh, yeah, that sounds pretty cool, bamboo party. Brown pandas are exceptionally rare and have unique looks. 
So that's another type of panda as well. Um, added bamboo plants that can be used to construct scaffolding or feed pandas. So you might be like, Kyle, what do you mean by scaffolding? Well, first of all, let me just say uh, bamboo. As you can see, bamboo is like this. Um, we can actually make uh, make the bamboo grow using bone meal. Um, so as you can see, it starts off like that. And if we keep doing that, as you can see, the bamboo plant gets bigger and bigger and bigger. I think that's like the max height, but they all have like different max heights as well. So if we go over here, by the way, the pandas are following me because like they love bamboo. Uh, but if we keep doing this and doing this, as you can see, they all have kind of different max heights. Um, maybe like one block, uh, you know, above each other. Uh, but if you keep doing that, I can see, yeah, there you go. That has a different height com to, uh, compared to these two. Um, so it's pretty cool in my opinion. And plus, you could just let them grow by themselves if you want to, uh, up to that point or up to that point. And they're pretty cool, uh, pretty cool to have in survival as well. So there's bamboo. Now I might be like Kyle. What do you mean by scaffolding? Well, scaffolding is over here. Um, as you can see, if we pick block this block, oh, not not that one. If we pick block the scaffolding, as you can see. By the way, if you want to find it on the creative menu before I talk about it, it's building blocks and then it's like one section down. And there you go. It's between like the fences and the slime block. Um, there's your scaffolding block right there. Now what this does is basically if you're in survival, obviously you can't fly up if you're in a hardcore survival. Um, so if you wanted to build like a, you know, certain heights or whatever, you would get this scaffolding and basically build it up like this. Now what this allows you to do is obviously like climb up stuff um, in order for you to safely climb up like this. I can see I'm climbing up right now. I'm not actually flying so you can see I'm on the ground. I'm climbing up the scaffolding right now, uh, but what you can also do, as you can see, now we've stacked that up from doing it like that, you can also actually uh, stack up the, oh, let me, how do we do this, there you go, you can also build, uh, if I keep doing this, the uh, scaffolding at the bottom of the, the, um, the other scaffolding block, so what I mean by that is, as you can see, I've placed one scaffold block, instead of building it up like this, uh, like I've just done here, instead of building it up like that continuously, what you can actually do if we just place one here, if you go near it, you can actually just keep placing them right at the bottom, and basically uh, they will just stack up like that, and uh, it's pretty cool in my opinion, and you can like do all this and stuff like that. So yeah, basically they help you climb around buildings and stuff if you're building in survival, Pretty cool block in my opinion, and as you can see, it looks a bit like a table as well, so that's pretty cool. Ocelots no longer turn into cats, but you can still earn their trust in the usual way. I've already mentioned that when I was talking about the cats over there, you know, you no longer need ocelots to, you know, tame cats, you have cats yourself. Um, but yeah, ocelots no longer turn into cats, as mentioned right there. Um, added white, black, blue, and brown dyes. So if we go um, over here, I can see you've got the black dye, the blue dye, the brown dye, and the white dye. So there's like four different types of dyes right here. But I can see they've added new dyes right there. Pretty cool in my opinion. And basically just a bunch of fixes. So fix for crash that would occur while near areas with snow. Fix for barrier block in the tutorial. Oh, really? Oh, I didn't even know about that one. So apparently, if you don't know, if you haven't watched the video uh, about my, the barrier block tutorial I did, in uh, the tutorial world basically it's basically saying right here that they've fixed that now i haven't checked this myself so i don't know if they have or haven't but it say that's pretty much what it's saying right here um i'm gonna check that out just to see if they have been like fixed or whatever i i really hope not because like barrier block is actually a really cool block even though like it shouldn't be in the game i think they should be allowed in the game because i think they would actually be good for like you know map builds and stuff for the, like certain areas you can't go um but yeah there you go apparently there's a fix to that now which is quite upsetting but it's fine in uh, a way uh fix for crash that would occur when tnt blew up a fence post and shulker box So there are all the fixes right there. That's everything on the changelog. If there are any secret features, I will be sure to record a video on them. Uh, let me know if you found any secret features as well. And by the way, you can't place like bamboo or anything on top of the blocks, but you can like place, you know, other blocks and stuff. So yeah, there you go. Um, hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think to this update and let me know uh, if you expected it to be like this because I know a lot of people were asking about this update. Um, by the way, um, all like there's some um, 
There's an update on, out on Xbox 360 as well, but that was the very last update for the Xbox 360. They are no longer updating all gen consoles such as the PS3, Xbox. This was the last update for it. So just to put that out there, if you're an Xbox 360 or PS3 player and uh, other consoles like that, like I said, I don't know much too much about that. Um, but yeah, that's what I've heard and uh, I'm, I'm guessing that's, that's what it is. So there you go. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Oh, one last thing. I, for I almost forgot to show you this. So if we go on the menu right now, as you can see at the beginning of the video, I actually mentioned something about the Nightmare Before Christmas mashup pack. Now, we have the Nightmare, Nightmare Before Christmas world right here, which is a mashup pack. And I haven't actually been on it yet, so it's going to be my first reaction. Um, and I actually really think it'll be cool. So we're going to go on this right now, see what it's all about. And, uh, you know, already by the background and the text, I think it looks good. Oh, wow. Okay, this is a big world. How far does this go go on for? I want to explore a bit of this. Oh, wow, look at that build. Okay, what's this? I want to go in this place. This looks good. Is that a rope bridge or whatever you call them? Oh, it is. Nice. So, I, I don't know how you get up here. How, how do we... Uh... Oh, can we... You know what? Let's... Okay, I'm just going to get in this way. You know, let's pretend that never happened. Uh, what's this? Is this... Oh, that's a nether portal. Okay. Well, I didn't know uh, they put a nether portal in there. Looks like there's like a bottom... Oh, it's not a bottom section. Okay. Um, okay, we've been in there. Pretty cool build, in my opinion. Um, oh, what is this? Yo, I like these mountains. These mountains look pretty cool, not gonna lie. Um, and these builds right here as well. 4J Studios have done a great job. I, I like the look of the mountains. Like, they're strangely, like, shaped and stuff, but they actually look really cool. And so does this world right here as well. Because, like, look at this. Just look, just look at this place. Like, what's this? Um, I'm, not, I'm not really sure what that is, to be honest. Um, but anyway, yeah, look at this place. It's just big. And, uh, you know, I, I think 4J Studios have done a great job with this. Um, and the update itself. And, uh, yeah, there you go. If you want to explore this yourself, you can do. Uh, but I've got to end the video now uh, just so I can get it edited and stuff like that. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think to the update in the comments section or on Twitter at underscore Bakewood. And uh, let me know if you think, if you expected the update to be like this. Hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Adios.